I was a teenager and young adult in college, I read them. I didn't know the character, you know, in a significant time before I actually got the role. Had thought about how revolutionary it would be to see that come into fruition. Thinking, like, I don't know if that would ever happen, if the world would ever change, if the industry would ever change where um, that could happen. Thank God we live to see, see that. I think so, it was, was very clear in this movie, and especially because um, of the way it was done, because it was done in Wakanda, because you know you needed to cast it with black actors and black actors from, from all around the globe, from the Caribbean, black actors from Europe, black actors from uh, the continent of Africa, um, and from the States. Can't leave myself out. It shows the diaspora, and I think that's part of what this film is, is that even though Wakanda is a, is a fantasy, it does pull from very real things in Africa, real tribes, real um, empires, real architecture, real clothing, and it uses all those real things to define, to, to actually make a culture. It feels very real um, when you watch it because I think there's detail there. I think it will resonate um, in some ways. It wasn't intentional because the movie was written two and a half years ago. So it just so happens that the issues of the world coincide with what's, ha what's happening in the movie. And it's what was written in the comic book initially. The fact that it, it was closed off and people didn't know what Wakanda was. And how could you have to ask the question, well, how could that be? You know, even the various writers of the comic book had to ask that question. And so they have dealt with Wakanda's secrecy and its borders, you know, since the 60s. It just happens to be topical right now.